Well, weather made plenty of headlines across the globe this year, but Earth isn't the only place scientists are monitoring. Meteorologist Lance Blocker takes a look at conditions on the sun and what it can mean for us. Here's a look at the sun on December 29th. It's a unique viewpoint that NASA satellites provide. It may look quiet, but it's certainly not. We are nearing the peak of the 11-year solar cycle for our sun, which is the standard process when the sun's poles actually flip positions. This results in more frequent solar storms. This solar flare occurred just a few weeks ago on December 14th, and this larger X-class flare occurred back in June, and it had enough energy to power the entire United States for over a million years. So the question is this, do the storms actually pose any real threat to humans on Earth? And for the most part, they don't, but they could impact the technology we rely on. The most well-known solar storm was the Carrington event in 1859 when the Earth sustained a direct hit which produced an aurora as far south as the Caribbean. The sky was so bright that gold miners in the Rockies actually started making breakfast thinking the sun had come up. That solar storm only had minor effects on humans since technology was, of course, very limited. A similar storm today, however, would produce very different effects. On July 23, 2012, we narrowly missed a strong solar storm. In fact, if the eruption had occurred just a week earlier, we would have been in its direct path. Researchers at Boulder, Colorado, said that storm would have caused $2 trillion in damages, which would have taken years to repair. The good news is that NASA now has satellites positioned all around the sun monitoring for solar storms and forecasting their potential impacts on Earth. This puts us in a much better position to protect our sensitive infrastructure. Another piece of good news, our sun is 4.6 billion years old, which means that the most significant solar storms are much less common, so the overall risk is lower. But of course, it's something we'll always keep an eye on. For CBS 17 News, I'm meteorologist Lance Blocker.